Graduates and guests, may we have your attention, please? Convocation is about to begin. If you have a mobile device or pager with you, please turn it off or silence it during the ceremony. Thank you for your attention and congratulations. If able, please rise. Good afternoon and welcome to everyone. <clears throat> we wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, <clears throat> excuse me, it has been the traditional land of the Huron Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We are also grateful to have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our scholars today. On their behalf, let us express gratitude for the support of their families and friends, and for the faculty and staff who have guided them in their pursuit of knowledge. Whatever our own traditions, let us reflect as we proceed through the convocation ceremony on the many years of sacrifice, effort, and now success that have brought us to this time of celebration. In Conculium Universitates Torontonensis Vocati Somus. Graduates, please remain standing. All guests, please be seated. Insignissima Cancellaria, Presanto Tibi Hospice Scolaris, Ut Admiritantu Ad Gradus Varius, Tescoque Eus Quet Omnia Quae, Statuta Recurrent Aptus, E Idonius Esse. At Profectum Huiesqua Magniae, Huiesqua Magnae Patriae, Et Profectum Omnium Nationum, Omnibus in Terris Cognitarum, Algo exacatuitate mihi atotuk, universitate commissar. Admitobus, excuse me, admitobus agradus varius quarum ura gubisto, e betoco qua ut omnia confictiatas munera qua edilos gradus pertinent. Please be seated. My name is Wisdom Tete, and it's my great privilege to serve as Vice President of the University of Toronto and Principal of the University of Toronto Scarborough. Today, I have the additional privilege of assisting Chancellor Rose Patton 
in conducting this convocation. The university is an institution with deep historical roots and many enduring traditions. Among those is our use of the language of the medieval university in today's wonderful cer uh, ceremony. For those in attendance who, like me, are less than fluent in Latin, a translation may be helpful. For my part, I said, most distinguished chancellor, I present to you these scholars that they may be admitted to the various degrees, and I bear witness that, as far as all things which the statutes require, they are fit and suitable. Much more significantly, from the standpoint of the graduating class, the chancellor then replied, to the benefit of this province, this great country, and to the worldwide community of nations, I, by the authority vested in me and in the whole university, admit you to your various degrees, grant to you the rights, and ask of you the responsibilities of doing all those things which pertain to those degrees. And so, as my first order of business, I'm delighted to salute you, the graduating classes of 2023 from the University of Toronto Scarborough. That's it, you're done. Warmest congratulations. I also would like to bid a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us here in historic Convocation Hall. Graduates, today the University of Toronto is formally recognizing your hard work, your accomplishments, your perseverance, and this milestone. Speaking of perseverance, you have successfully completed your program in extraordinary and challenging times. And today's celebration is all the more meaningful for it. Each of you, as a member of the graduating class, is joining an exceptional family of University of Toronto alumni. U of T has a global community of over 660,000 alumni in 196 countries. They are the university's living legacy uh, and our greatest ambassadors. U of T alumni serve in leadership roles in every corner of the globe and in every walk of life. They are prime ministers, justices, scholars, authors, community and business leaders, scientists, and professionals of every description. Their endeavors have shaped the world we live in and the way we understand the world. We have no doubt that the University of Toronto's high international standing can be attributed to generations of dedicated and very talented faculty and staff members. But we also understand that this reputation has been built by our alumni, a group that now includes each and every one of you. So to the graduating class, let me say thank you. Thank you for your many contributions to the university whilst you were a student. And thank you for what you will do as members of Canada's largest, and I believe most distinguished alumni community. One more word of thanks is in order. I'm sure all graduates share a sense of gratitude to the friends and family members who have helped bring them to this special day. And I'd like to ask you to join me and the platform party in thanking them with a vigorous round of applause. Now let me continue with a request. One of the distinguishing features of our convocation is that graduates come forward to be recognized individually. You will then leave the stage using the ramp, exit out the door and around the hall. And at that point, you will turn left and quietly re-enter the hall as your peers continue to be recognized. I encourage you to think of the very last person to be on stage. And I believe that will be Christina Arelli Enriquez. Uh, where are you, Christina? Can you get up, please? Stand up. Where is? There you are. Okay. So remember, Christina, when you exit, 
and come back in. So it's all done quietly and everybody has their moment of this special occasion. Now, I note that the university is a mask-friendly environment. We ask everyone to respect each other's decisions and comfort levels with regard to health and safety concerns. Similarly, we'll forgo the traditional handshake, but promise to offer a vigorous round of applause as you pass by on the stage. Thank you for your understanding and assistance, and once more, warmest congratulations. It is now my privilege to introduce today's convocation speaker, Zabine Herji. Ms. Herji is a thought leader in the future of work, leadership, equity, diversity, and inclusion, and a strategic advisor across all sectors. As the former Chief Human Resources Officer at the Royal Bank of Canada, she oversaw 80,000 employees in 40 countries. She's an active board member for a number of non-for-profit organizations, an active mentor, coach, and sponsor to women and people of color. At U of T, she's a member of the REACH Alliance Advisory Council and a past member of the Governing Council. Among her many accolades, she has received the Governor General's Meritorious Service Medal for Diversity and Inclusion and has twice been named among the top 25 women of influence. Please welcome Sabine Herji to the podium. Thank you for that kind introduction. Chancellor Patton, Professor Teddy, Dean Goff, faculty members, family of the graduates, and most importantly, the class of 2023. It truly is an honor to address you today. Congratulations, graduates. We're here to celebrate you and your accomplishments. Enjoy it. You deserve it. It's also a day to recognize your families, parents, grandparents, siblings, partners, and your friends who've been there to support you all along. Graduates, this is an exciting time for you and for our country. Yes, you're graduating into an uncertain world. I see the challenges, but more importantly, I also see the opportunities, especially for your leadership. The future of Canada and the world we live in will be shaped by your choices and your actions. Each of you brings a unique story comprised of your education, talent, ideas, and lived experiences. You have the capability to see what can be and are not constrained by what has been. You can co-create solutions that earlier generations could never have imagined. Some of you may be thinking, but I'm just graduating. I don't have the power to make change. Graduates, I'm here to tell you that leadership is not a title. It's a mindset, it's everyday behaviors, it's courage. So dream big, then take action to get there. Now I've learned from both my successes and my mistakes, and I'll share three guiding principles that I hope will be helpful to your journey. Number one, lead with your values. The pandemic has profoundly impacted our lives and many are taking stock, reflecting on what's next. So as you launch your next chapter, I encourage you to ask yourself these three questions. Who do I want to be? What brings me fulfillment? And how do I want to be of service? One of humanity's most fundamental questions is, what does it take to build a life of purpose and meaning? Only you can answer that for yourself. 
through reflection, humility, and test and learn. And this does evolve over time. In fact, it's a question I keep coming back to even post my full-time, full-on career at RBC. So how do you lead with your values? You start by articulating them, write them down, translate your values into day-to-day -day behaviors and use them to guide your decisions, big and small. This will help you find fulfillment, develop meaningful relationships and build stronger communities. I know from experience, this is not easy and it will take courage. Staying true to who you are and what you believe is vital. People ask me if my values changed over my career. While they've certainly evolved, many are foundational. In fact, they're the values my parents instilled in me early in life. Empathy, compassion, kindness, inclusion, leadership, excellence. They're about character, they're enduring. It's doing what's right, not what's easy. Because remember, these choices will never, ever fail you. Speaking of parents, a shout out to my mom who's listening online for giving me deep roots, my values, and giving me wings to fly and grow. Thank you for being my role model. And to my late father, who I lost at the age of 11, who instilled in me the belief that I should never, ever limit my ambitions just because I was a girl. Number two, be an advocate and a champion for diversity, equity, and inclusion. The evidence is clear. We simply won't reach our potential as individuals or as a country without equity and full inclusion. Yes, we have made progress, but not enough. We must go faster and deeper to make meaningful and sustainable change, and each one of us plays a role. Start early. I didn't become a diversity champion until my mid-30s. I should have started earlier. Use your voice, your privilege, your influence. Be inclusive. Be deliberate about inviting diverse voices into conversations and ensuring they're heard, both at work and in life. There's no such thing as an innocent bystander. If you see something, be it disrespectful, demeaning, or hurtful behavior, racism, sexism, homophobia, ageism, say something, do something. If you can make things better, you must. Be curious, listen to learn, ask for feedback about your own behaviors, consider it and act on it. Diversity is a fact, inclusion is an act. And the third and final principle, your career is a long game. Think long-term impact when you make decisions. Some of you may already know where your passion lies, but for most, it's a meandering journey. I spent the first half of my career at RBC traversing many divisions, branch banking, operations, strategy, credit cards. I learned the most when I stepped outside my comfort zone and stretched myself. And rest assured, I did fear failure, and I did experience failure, but ultimately, I found my sweet spot in human resources where I could simultaneously unlock the potential of people and drive organizational performance. It was magic for me. So when assessing job opportunities, I asked, what will I add to my skills portfolio? What leaders will I get to learn from? How will I contribute and stand out? Will this create options for the future? As a result, I took two jobs at the same level. I even accepted a job at a lower level. Most would call that a demotion. But for me, it turned out to be a pivotal career move. The best decision I made? Declining my first executive position offer shortly after my second maternity leave, as I hadn't yet figured out how to be the mom I wanted to and manage a demanding career. I learned a very important lesson. Judge success by your own standards. Don't put pressure on yourself to keep up with your friends, your colleagues, your classmates. Don't constantly chase that promotion. Your career is a long game. Let me end with the wise words of anthropologist Margaret Mead. 
Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed individuals can change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Congratulations, class of 2023. I wish you much success and joy. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates from the University of Toronto Scarborough who are being admitted to the degree of Honours Bachelor of Arts. Irini Abadir. <laughs> Hadman Mohamed Abukar. Jamie May Agustine. Ahnouf Ahmed. Danish Ahmed. Sean Ahmed. Shayal Shamir Ahmed. Melissa Aituk Akis. Hafsa Zainab Ali. Haydar Ali. Zaid Al Safar. Joanna Sarika Amin. Manal Amir. Saruja Anunda Raja. Valentina Argules. Nicole Andrea Ereza. Raimak Asfaha. Tala Samir Ashur. Abba Amowa Ba. Maria Elizabeth Pakis. Martin Joseph Bacon. Habin Baik. Sachini Ayoni Balachandran. Kobe Bamfo. Homeira Bunji. Tyler Mary Button Store. Daria Beninova. Tristan Anthony Bennett. Eden Berhanu. Kerisha Tamara Biggs. Demli Bolat. Elizabeth Tamara Atena Bujikian. <laughs> Isabella Branton. 
Uma Bridgemangal. Gillian Ann Fairfax Brooks. Rashida Kenya Buckle. Nunziata Lara Bufardeci. Umrin Buhari. Sandra Burian. Victoria Butler. Naomi Nadia Cabral. Jurui Tsai. Jishin Chao. Alexander Bartolomeo Keith Cardella. Edarlin Ann Maulion Casanova. Chanel S. Charles. Lataya Anita Charles Tennant. Kilu Chen. Yansunan Chen. Yufei Chen. Linky Cheng. Kahe Cheong. Xiao Chi Chia. Claire Julia Yu Ching Chia Sit. Chia. Sherry Wing Yin Chin. Carmine Alessandro Crico. Fatima Chishti. Hot Yi Chao. Sirka Ellen Chao. Labib Hak Chadri. Raisa Tahir Chadri. Taha Ahmed Chadri. Aliana Denise Soriano Chua. Chek Ka Chung. Ho Ying Amis Chung. Angelina Sara Curry. Raymond Deng. Iran Deng. Chara Kwa Somwaibi Dan Kuki. Dimitri Fotios Da Silva. Safayar Nicola Davis. Angelica Faith De La Cruz. Chiking Deng. Emily Mika De Ruiz. Maria Desai. Joanne Deva Nathan. Joanna Cristina De Villa. Alexa Maria De Francesco. Farah Durani. Annabelle Fazia Devi Dravid. Razan Yasir El Tahir. Faria Rochelle Engbino. Nilufar Foyezi. 
Enrique Fernandez Fastino. Dania Ferroz. Mackenzie Page Fitzpatrick. Elaine Felicias. Seman Agneta Friesen. Keita Fujiyama. Remo Rafael Gregis. Gabrielle Rian Garvida. Dancel Emmanuel Gale. Ava Tambariliha. Avishak Kumar Gush. Sirit Gill. Sena Gill. Andrea Renata Giron. Naomi Deruveni Ganaseigaram. Glory Gobes. Sharon Nicole Goncalves. Tim Graveline. Nathaniel Kieran Gray. Mark Nicholas Gris. Rachel Ruth Fabiana Gualao. Han Yu Gao. Wen Hao Gao. Xin Rui Gao. Oliver Mehdi Hakim. Alice Wei Er Hao. Shivas Harley. Xiaohui He. Zitong He. Ashley Wei Huan Heng. Tiana Henry. Shui Hong. Xia Huan Hu. Jia Wen Hu. Lie Chen Huang. Wanting Huang. <laughs> Candidate from the University of Toronto, Scarborough, who's being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Ulmul Khair Abdi. Candidates from the University of Toronto, Scarborough, who are being admitted to the degree of Honours Bachelor of Science, Kimberly Joy Caspilo Abad. <laughs> Yumna Omer Ahmed Abdelhamid. <laughs> Nadim Abdi. <laughs> Manar Abdullah. <laughs> Ayesha Mohammed Abdul Moyed. Ivan Abel. <laughs> Allison Paz Abaliso. <laughs> Jotham Calvin Paul Abraham. <laughs> Faria Abrar. <laughs> Gulpreet Kaur Abro. <laughs> Roland Joemar. Aboy Seho. 
Patricia Angela Armada Abuel. <laughs> Haywat Adi Salim. <laughs> Safia Adu. <laughs> Mofei Yanoluwa Taimetope Adeyeri. <laughs> Jolie Morad Adib. Sadaf Adila, Tamima Adna, Zahra Afshar, Jasmine Ahitan, Fatima Ahmed, Subaita Ahmed. Sayed Faisen Ahmed. Tanweer Ishraq Ahmed. Jeremy Jesse Ayebi. Vilian Ajan. Darlene Adwa Aka. Chanel Alam. Dia Mazen Al Arbit, Sandy Al Balat, Rinat Albar, Mahdi Ali Ali, Patrick Paul Alexin, Andreas Alexander. Reem Al Halabi, <laughs> Abid Ali, I love you, Mom. Amir Ali, <laughs> Arij Kazamfar Ali, <laughs> Fatima Mohammed Ali, <laughs> Hannah Ali. Jasmine Ariel Ali. <laughs> Nabil Aslam Ali. Sarah Ann Ali. Zainab Ali. Haidar Alibai. Atra Ali Muradian. Ahad Alingari, Alexander Al Khadim, Kristen Andrea Allen, Tasnim Al Mudaris, Joanna Maria Xavier Alfonso, Ali Saad Al Rabaf. Minha Altaf. <laughs> Abimanyu Vipo Amin. <laughs> Samira Amiri. <laughs> Madeline Rebecca Ayemen. <laughs> Nasiba Nurallah Anwar Ali. <laughs> Kirtigan. Arvanitan, Tasnina Arba, Eden Million Arefine, Ivan Arianta, Madison Elaine Arnott. Sayeda Aru, <laughs> Laksha Anutanavana Yagam, <laughs> Sahel Asadi, <laughs> Nabiha Asif, 
Talha Aslam. Zainab Aslam. Maryam Atik. Arnold O. Adam Awok. Dylan Michelle Ayala. Hafsa Ajer. Jordan Hadra K. Backness. Margaret Feng Dan Bai Huang. Johan Chaco Baijo. Nehaya Philip Galvez Baja. Hamayel Bajava. Rohin Bala Chandran. Matumita Balendran. Diane Heimati Balkaran. Olivia and Michelle Ball. Fang Ze Bao. Elif Baran. <laughs> Marina Dematra Baranov. Aruba Bari. Tishana Baskarum. Maeve Batalia. Tori Briana Belcher. Sarah Ismail Baham. Heman Paranot. Anirud Bahardawaj. Dimpi Bati. Danish Bahunjan. Oniket Biala. Annie Billings. Nora Zuruhi Bokasian. Futado Bunatam. Arshin Khan Buzai. Christopher Bress. <laughs> Janet Boado. <laughs> Bernard Ryan Robles Bukeo. <laughs> Maimuna Borges. <laughs> Megan Kellyan. Burns, <laughs> Matthew Waylin Tsai, <laughs> Yushin Tsai, <laughs> Rueka Amashi Caldera, <laughs> Jin Rong Chao. Jin Lei Chao. Yi Ji Chao. Kyle Al 
Aldrich Carlos. Joshua Esteban Carrasco Sousa. Nicole Janine Taneyo Casalia. Alexandra Isabel Katibok. Cheyenne Catillo. Sarbanti Chakraborty. Iris Champagne. Adrian S. F. Chan. Willie Chen. Taryn Joseph Chen. Ching Ching Calvin Chen. Anui John Chandran. Lavanisha Chandran. Ying Ting Ingrid Chang. Anastasia Yin Melina Charleri. Amawish Chadri. Monisha Chawla. Daniel Chakol. Baishu Chen. Bernice Chen. James Chen. Lu Chen. Mingjia Chen. Hui Lam Cheryl Chen. Si Hao Chen. Si Chen. Yang Chen. Calvin Cheng. Kangshun Cheng. Tianjie Cheng. Keju Chi. Clara Chek. Asma Banu. China. Sejal Sunil Chirmadi. Benjamin Noah Chislet. Chester Se Hang Chiu. Yuan Horn Cho. Jessica Cho A Ying. Nicholas Choi. Lu Wei Chu. Yok Jen Chao. Nabila Fatima Chadri. Cole A. Cleland. Gillian Ko. Daniel Anthony Coletta. Let's go! Osman Conger. Estefania Cote Lizarazo.
Connor John Crawford. Noreen Jane Mirante Dakara. Vivian Dadlani. Chiti Dahal. Jason Tiu Nang Dai. Jingwei Dai. Xiangu Dai. Andrew Christian DeMario. Cruz India Das. Rushul Dave. Saron Dabalakio. Dennis Dechtiarenko. Anna Patricia de la Cruz. Kate Celeste de la Cruz. Michaela de Stefano. Maninder Singh Danata. Kabir Mohit Davan. Rosani Diaslaus. Pablo Matias Diaz Zakel. Maria Dimitreska. Eshanika Dinesh. Anthony Ding. Giuliano Luciano Anthony De Paolo. Tatiana Anna Joffridge. Laura Donayan. Batuhan Dover. <laughs> Elias Duali. <laughs> Juliana Catherine Dugut. <laughs> Jaden Carmen Duncan. <laughs> Christopher Chen Ning Dong. Angelica Zeko. Geneve Abigail Edwards. Oinbi Victorious Ekior. Ala El Basuni. Amir Hossein Elmi. Alan Emmanuel. <laughs> Heidi Kalida Escobar. <laughs> Rose Pamela Guzman Esquera. <laughs> Alejandra Maria Estrada. <laughs> Teta Zaki. Kian Falah. Ye Fan. Gentao Fan. Atika Fariha. Fatima Farouk. 
Aisha Salman Farooqi. Mohammed Farzan. Anson Feng. Kelly Feng. Claire Danielle Fernandez. Kevin Danielle Fernandez. Emily Rose Fernandez. Madusha Sofia Fernando. Rodolfo Emilio Fialos Herrera. Maxwell Avery Fine. Fatima Shabiha Ferdhaus. Thomas Fleming. Joaquin Fogel. Tony Lewis Verberi Fondazinio. Nicole Joanna Fong. Victoria Teresa Fong. Fatima Formuli. Ranisha Francis. Jess Niranjan Francis Pali. Kingsen Fung. Se Ching Fung. Churise Guan Go. Jaimuel de Guzman Galan. Khadija Galan. Avi Vijakumar Gandhi. Zainab Ismail Gangan. Felicia Shin Gao. Yuan Yuan Gao. Patricia May Gatmaitan. Chloe Larissa Gatsis. Rusheka Gotam. <laughs> Yulia Gaydash. <laughs> Ji Gang. <laughs> Samer Ghanem. <laughs> Manjila Kimiri. <laughs> Lily. Mary Gibbs, Sarah Gigi, Amar Premdat Gopal, Sean Gural Nick. I love you guys. Daruv Goya. Patricia Gwen Guevara. <laughs> Belinda May Dilig Guer. <laughs> Jia Go. <laughs> Jun Tao Go. <laughs> Christina Ha. Mariam Habib Khan. Sahil Hakimi. Najat Abdi Halani. Rahim Halal. Re 
excuse me, Reham Halal. Andrea Hamid. Ashhad Asim Hamza. I Mingui Han. Du Han. Jia Chen Han. Yue Han. Sayed Tahmid Al Haq. Sonia Alina Hari Persat. McKenna Nikita Harry. Nazia Halima Harun. Pushpita Hassan. Manson Christopher Howell. Stephen Kahe Howell. Jonathan William Hay. Safa Hazim. Linjun He. Lutong He. Meng He. Eric Edward Heidrich. Isabella Atenia Harrington. Brandon Heron. Jamar Elia Hewitt. Raphael Ho. Ranik Felicia Shay Holland. Howard Hong. Aryaman Prashant Haskate. Mayam Hosseini Kupayei. Shaza Hulayel. Pauline Chu. Jason Hu. Shenwei N. Hu. Xiaoyu Hu. Uyen Tran Tao Hua. Andy Huang. Michelle Huang. Xiao Hang Huang. Yao Yan Huang. Jiki Bonnie Huang. Catherine Evangelia Hunter. Alisa Sharina Hossein. Zain Ijaz Hossein. Zena Hossein. Saida Zini Afros. Candidates from the University of Toronto Scarborough who are being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science. Alexander Baradin. (laughs) 
Iris Dickoff. Sainal Avedira Gunarante. Christina Arelli Henriquez. On behalf of the University of Toronto and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby admit all those candidates not here present to their degrees in absentia. As we conclude convocation, I wish to thank all of you for your participation and patience. To the families and friends, and to those in the procession, let me say thank you. You have made this a more memorable event for each member of the graduating class. I'd like to thank Chancellor Rose Patton for presiding over today's ceremony. Thank you. I wish to thank as well the many other colleagues and friends of the university who participated in this convocation, whose names you'll find in the program. And now invite the chancellor to bring today's ceremony to a close. As I bring this convocation ceremony to a close on this, which is your special day, I hope we will see you often in the years to come. I invite you to stay connected with us. We will be very interested in your journeys, and we know that you will make an impact for the better in whatever path you choose. Conculium dimissum est. <laughs>